if you've ever had authentic potacot bole then you would know is the next best thing after fried rice <laughs> allow me to take you back to ph to show you how to make the authentic potacot bole from the sauce the marinade everything step by step friends you do not want to miss it Open your eyes now, the billionaire chef is back in town now. Yeah. There's no denial, carry your plates, we can come and join now. Quality food, don't go get recipe, cause this food is sweet to my body. If you no say, you no savvy. Hey my friends, my name is Uzum the Billionaire and you're welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I am so glad to have you here. See, one thing is guaranteed, today's video is going to leave you so excited and happy to enter your kitchen and try out the recipe yes guaranteed if you're a newbie thank you so much for stopping by remember to give this video a thumbs up okay like it and you want to subscribe subscribe i cannot wait to have you join our cooking community and then please share it would mean a lot to us and if you're not a newbie oh my goodness thank you for always thank you for sticking with Uzum's kitchen i really see you and appreciate every single one of you now back to the video first things first we're going to be working in segments okay so the first section of this video is getting our fish ready you know for the next step or rather for roasting and you know whatever we're going to be doing with it which you're going to see <laughs> now the fish you're going to be using is none other but mackerel fish aka titus fish okay you don't use croaker you don't use um any other type of fish for real authentic portacot bole you gotta use mackerel fish there's no two ways about it it is mackerel fish or none other okay now please follow this video and see how i cleaned it up real good okay just make this incision um at the tummy side okay and just bring out everything inside just look closely at what i'm doing and do the same it is so easy so please do as i'm doing to clean your fish um i see people um you know wash fish but they don't really clean the head very well and i feel it's really nasty you know please take out that thing inside please <laughs> i see this a lot people leave it i don't know how people do that but i really feel it is totally nasty please take it out follow this video you know to so that i don't make a mess of your fish i want to do this gradually all I do is just to push it by the corner and, you know, when I, I pull it out, I now push it in to remove the remaining debris inside and it will just come off very easily. It's not a big deal at all. Trust me, this is the easiest part of this, okay? When you're done, make sure you wash your fish thoroughly, inside thoroughly and we'll go to the next step. Wearing a glove for this recipe is not fancy. You need it. You need it. Just keep watching. You will understand why. Now you want to pat dry your fish thoroughly. I mean thoroughly. I cleaned my fish. Oh my god. I made sure I, I just kept cleaning it because there's a lot of water content. So you want to keep cleaning it and then make um incisions. You want to score your fish. See, just keep scoring it on different parts, you know this is so important please don't ignore it <laughs> don't ignore this part at all it is so important because of the things um we'll be adding to it you need it to penetrate inside very well don't ignore it and think or think it's not important it is important when you're done scoring it you still want to pad dry it till your fish is dry your fish needs to be dry trust me
now bring out your habanero pepe yes you heard me right habanero pepe aka rodo that is the first thing you're going to be putting on your fish you want to marinate that fish totally with rodo yes nothing else just rubbing a lot you want to be really generous with this yes <laughs> i know someone is shocked ah, is this not pepper oh yes it is there's nothing else i added just raw pepper that is why you need your gloves so please make sure you are very generous with that please don't miss it add that pepper but no fear okay <laughs> next up we're gonna be adding our fish seasoning i don't know how i missed filming this part but yeah i just rubbed it in as so you know into the fish i don't know how i missed it so please bear with me now the next thing i'm adding is my paprika please add your paprika in there just rub it in as so follow the video because we're still gonna add in or we're still gonna be adding more things to the fish okay so the first thing i added was my habanero pepper aka rodo second thing is my fish seasoning and now the third thing i'm adding is my paprika the same way you did your pepper you want to be generous on both sides add it and no fear let me tell you to do it trust me this is how potato people do their bole and i'm not talking about something i don't know i have learned it from them so yeah this is the authentic bole recipe follow these don't miss any single ingredient i added to it and you get the exact bole that you're getting okay next thing you're adding is palm oil yeah palm oil this is what gives you that vibrant red color so please don't miss it you want to marinate that fish with that palm oil now why i always told you not to be scared because of all the pepper we are adding okay it's because if you know palm oil you know that palm oil reduces the heat in pepper do you get so um i know someone might be scared won't this be too hot you know or too spicy no with the introduction of the palm oil now yes aside the umami flavor that comes with the palm oil palm oil also reduces the effect of um the heat in pepper yeah so please do not be scared <laughs> be generous on all parts including this side of the of the fish don't miss it next up is our dry pepper yes another pepper please do not miss any ingredients i added add that dry pepper it is part of the umami flavor you know for that potter cut bole so that is it first thing we added was our um habanero pepper second was fish seasoning third was our paprika fourth is the palm oil and the fifth thing is our dry pepper please don't miss any of the ingredients all of this is in your local market go get them and you know use all of the ingredients if you want that authentic potacot bole so important now we're ready i'm just gonna stack this in my rack ready for the oven but you guys know that potacot people because it's a street food they will use um barbecue outside you know they just put their fire and even that adds to the flavor but even if you don't have it it's fine if you have an air fryer perfect if you don't have an air fryer but you have an oven perfect okay so just use whatever you have now bring out your plantain and you know peel it you want to score it as well you know just make incisions on it and we'll move to the next step Sweet 
good Man, you know, be issue Cause I'm sketching, we got you We'll come to your rescue With sweet food, sweet food Man, you know, be issue Cause I'm sketching, we got you We'll come to your rescue Friends, as you're watching, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up like this video you want to subscribe if you're yet to subscribe and please share and we have a couple of previous videos i'm gonna link it right now so don't forget to watch it to catch up okay now you want to put this in your air fryer or oven anything you're using go ahead and add it there so i'm gonna layer mine put the fish and then my um plantain and they're gonna roast together it adds the flavor as well oh my god it was so good now let us head over to making our pepper sauce add palm oil to your pan add lots of onion i mean lots of onion just as so okay and then mix you want to cook this onion allow it to fry for about two to three minutes yes please allow it to fry you want it to release its own natural flavor and you know that aroma and yeah just as so before you introduce the pepper mix to this um onion friend the mixture that's the mix for this pepper mix will be at the end of the video so you want to keep watching to get it if you really want to know more if you really want to learn more call me forget about the money oh no you don't really have to pay up if you want food we go past your bubble come and learn from the best if you want food we go sweet for your table You don't need lots of seasonings or spices for this particular pepper sauce all you need is your seasoning cube and your curry and that is it if you use salt of course go ahead and add your salt and mix it cover it allow it to cook on low heat emphasis on low heat you want um that sauce to really dry up very well And now our sauce is ready. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, this sauce is so good. It is so good. And again, our fish and our plantain, everything is ready. Yo, look how beautiful this looks. Look how well roasted it is, you guys. I'm legit tripping for this. It is so good. Properly roasted. It is so the, the aroma is bursting. I mean, my whole house smells like heaven on earth. <laughs> oh my God. It was just so beautiful to even look at. Okay. And then the plantain is well roasted. It, everything is just given. I'm a plantain lover. If you know me, you know that I am a huge sucker for plantain. So this combo right here always gets me because I love everything here. And anyways, our bole, our pH style um authentic bole is ready oh my god it is so good i promise you please follow this recipe if you ever want to make bole in fact after watching this you should actually go and buy mackerel fish and all of the ingredients i used you know and just go and make your bole please just try it while your guests while your spouse anybody just do it it is so good okay and please don't um use overripe plantain for your um bole make sure you use um you know that plantain that is not too ripe and is not green okay that is the perfect plantain to use now let's go ahead and plate this this is my favorite part but you guys this thing was piping hot oh my god and my husband was already almost back from work so i just wanted him to come back and see bole i wanted him to be so happy when he sees it <laughs> that's how i was rushing like this you guys it was so good
when you cut the plantain remember to press it yes that's how they serve it press it <laughs> and now um you put the first layer of plantain go ahead and put the next layer with the fish oh this fish gave me so much joy you finish up with another layer of plantain that is how to serve it we are not done no just keep watching and don't forget that i'm going to show you the recipe for the pepper mix at the end of the video so keep watching then again you want to add the fish to finish off okay add the plantain first layer add fish now plantain again and then fish that's how you keep layering it till you are done <laughs> this meal is such a comfort meal i love it so much now add that pepper sauce please be generous it is so good friends i garnished it with this thinly sliced ugu but trust me this is optional i just needed something green to pop in here if you have otazi leaf you know that bitter leaf it is perfect okay i just needed something green i mean <laughs> to pop in the meal not necessarily that they serve it like with the green thing no they don't this is just for garnishing sake and now our potakot authentic bole is ready oh my goodness this meal here is 10 over 10 trust me now keep watching to see the pepper mix that we used but don't forget to comment what you think about this particular recipe first thing you need is your tatashe you want to deseed it and clean it thoroughly okay add it to your food processor and then add tomatoes add rodo and then lots of onion that is all you need friends thank you so much for watching up until now i am so grateful you did remember to like subscribe and share click link that is showing to catch up on our previous recipes i love you but jesus loves you most bye